Jay here. And we're gonna, today we're going to talk about the differentiation property of the Laplace transform. We're going to use an example in which we proved the differentiation property in a previous video that the Laplace transform of the derivative of function f of t is given by s times f of s minus f0, which is just the initial condition of our function f of t. We'll show that the Laplace transform of a cosine beta t multiplied by a step function so that this function is causal since we're going to integrate from 0 to infinity by definition and show that its Laplace transform is f of s is equal to s divided by s squared plus beta squared. We also note that the cosine of beta t can be described by the sine of beta t where we take its derivative and scale it in front of it with 1 over beta. We also note that the sine beta t is equal to uh, its Laplace transform given by beta divided by s squared plus beta squared. So th hence we'll take this expression here and take the Laplace transform on both sides of this equation. And when we do that we substitute the Laplace transform of sine of beta t since the original function f of s here is sine of beta t before we take its derivative. So we replace it by beta divided by s squared plus beta squared and then we multiply by s. Don't forget to subtract the initial condition of sine 0 uh, minus which is just the initial condition which turns out to be 0. Hence what we have is that the Laplace transform of cosine beta t is equal to s divided by s squared plus beta squared. Signing off is Dr. J.